This video will be a crash course in the five types of games you can play in the virtual classroom. Kahoot, Quizzes, Quizlet Live, Gimkit, and Flippity. First, you'll sign up for a free account at kahoot.com. Once you're logged in, you'll want to search for the content you're looking for. Click on the Discover tab. Search for your content. There's a lot to choose from, so there's really no need to create your own, but you can if you want. Click on the one you like. You can preview the questions and be sure you like it. Then if you want, you can play it right then. Or you can choose to edit it and make it your own. It will ask you to duplicate. You can add questions over here. When you're done, click Done. To find the Kahoots you've created or saved, you'll click on the Kahoots tab and you'll go to My Kahoots. So now you're ready to play. Select Teach to play a live game or you can assign it as homework. We'll play a live game. There are a lot of features here that you can turn on and off. My favorite one is to automatically move through the questions. You might choose to turn on other features. And I always choose classic. You will share your screen with students so they can get the code. They'll enter the code and join the game. You can let them pick a nickname or you can require them to use their real name. Here's how the game works. The question is on the teacher's screen and the answer choices are on the student's screen. The teacher screen shows the correct answer and the leaderboard. First, you'll create your account with quizzes. You'll have to answer several questions. Then you'll go search for the topic you're looking for. There are a lot of quizzes already made, so there's no need to start from scratch, but you can if you want. When you find a quiz you like, you can click on it and it will show you a preview of the questions contained in that quizzes. When you find the one you like, you can choose to play live right then and there. Or you can choose to save it. Then you'll be able to find it in My Library. Open it up. You can choose to play live or assign it as homework. I'm going to play a live game. You can choose a few options here as well. I usually just leave them alone and click continue. Students will be given a code. They'll go to the address and enter the code. When all the students have joined, you'll start the quiz is. The questions and answers will be presented on the student's screen and your screen is just for the leaderboard. You can also look at how well the students did on different questions. First, you'll sign up for an account. You'll choose the free version of Quizlet hidden right here. You'll search for the content you're looking for and you can scroll through the different options. There are thousands of Quizlets created, so there's no need to create your own, but you can if you want. You can also edit one that's already been created. If you find one that's almost perfect, you can make a few changes if you'd like. Choose the Customize button. Now you can change things, and when you're done, you'll click Create. When you're ready to play a live game, click Live. Create Game. If you're playing this in a virtual setting, you'll want to choose Individuals. If you play with teams, you'll need to be in the classroom because the teams are assigned randomly. You'll have to choose how the question will look. Let's play. Music will automatically start playing. If you want to change that, go to Options and turn the music off. Students will enter the code on their computer. Everyone's given the same questions, but the first one to answer them correctly wins the game. When you're ready to play, click Create Game. Start Game. The teacher screen is used for the leaderboard and the student screen has the question and the answers. When a student answers incorrectly, they drop right back to zero and have to start again. It does share the correct answer so they can do better the second time around. First, you'll need to create a free account. So the free account only allows five players, but you do have a 30-day free trial so you can try it out and see if you like it. 
you'll want to start by creating a new kit. A new kit just means a new game. You'll fill out the information for the kit and click Next. Now you'll choose Add Question. You'll fill out the question and you must have four answers. You'll choose the correct one. You can choose more than one correct answer. When you're done adding questions, you'll click Finish Kit. You can play it live or assign it as homework. The triple dotty menu gives you some more features. For now, we're going to play a live game. In this game, you earn pretend money instead of points, and there's three ways to play. You can have a time limit, and whoever makes the most money in a certain amount of time wins. You can have a race. Whoever makes it to $10,000 wins the race. Or you can choose All In, where the class has to work together to earn a certain amount of money. This game has a lot of other options, but don't worry about those now. You'll learn as you go. Click Classic and Continue. You will display the code on your screen, and the students will enter the code on their screen. They'll also need to enter their name, but they can use a nickname if you allow it. When you're ready, click Start Game. The student screen has the questions and answers, and the teacher screen has the leaderboard. Students earn money for answering a question correctly, and they lose money for answering it incorrectly. Once they have a certain amount of money, they can go shop. They can pay to earn more money per question answered correctly. They can even buy insurance for incorrect answers. They can buy all kinds of power-ups. They can choose to make other players lose their money or to put them on a freeze. The teacher screen shows the total amount of money made by the class as well as the leaderboard. Flippity doesn't have any kind of login or anything like that. It's just a website full of templates that you can copy and modify for your own uses. Every template has the template link where you can make a copy of a spreadsheet. It also has the instructions for how to modify the spreadsheet. Some of these instructions can be sort of complicated, but it's still worth trying. And then there's an example of the type of thing you can create. This is a Jeopardy game. You project the screen to the class and they tell you which question they want to answer. If they answer it correctly, you just use the check mark to update their points. If they answer incorrectly, you use the X. Then you can reveal the correct answer. You go to another question and so on. You would set all of the themes and the questions and you can even add team names every time you play the game so those can always be different. Let's look at all the cool things you can do here. Matching games, bingo cards, you can even make a Mad Lib. The possibilities are endless.